get everybody. It's your boy. Oh, Shane Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Dima, wedding music? Weddings are fun, guys. I mean, I really like to go to them. I mean, there's always desperate chicks there, a lot of crying, and my favorite, free food. Because you know, <laughs> brother likes to eat. And the after parties are pretty fun too. And you know, I get to get dressed up and stuff, be looking all good, all you ladies who want me and everything, and my tuxedo. But some weddings are a joke. Um, you know, they're like um, laughing stocks. Like Omar Johnson. Oh, shit. Who recently got married to not one, but two women. Tima, give him a round of applause. <laughs> he did this at this struggle as um, Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy, the FDMG Academy, which is in um, Delaware, outside of Philadelphia. And this was supposed to be, from what I understand, an event that brought the community together an event that you know let people support what was going to happen with the school it's supposed to be about the black boys and all of this yada 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 and you know some of you people were hitting me up talking about um umar was going to build the school but again in um ghetto conscious community fashion and i'm not saying all of the conscious community but i'm talking about these three guys in particular who have a lot in common umar polite young pharaoh in hood booger fashion shout out to media tutorials and reviews um umar did what he thought he would do have a struggle wedding with not one but getting married to two women even had money for a little girl to be the flower girl and all of this now there's a few things wrong with the wedding but i'll talk about the first thing there's a lot of sexual deviance going on with dr umar johnson the same sexual deviance that goes wrong with young pharaoh the same sexual deviance that goes on brother polite here you have guys who have infiltrated the conscious community not for the love of women but for the love of booty booty clapping sounds and as the old saying goes, and I may have it wrong, to whom is given much is required. It is obvious that young Pharaoh, brother polite, nor Umar Johnson cannot even handle one woman, let alone more than one, okay? And we've seen these guys destroy their own careers, their own opportunities, based on the real reality that they cared nothing about the community that they said they wanted to help. All they cared about was sexual deviance. And let's get back to Umar. The whole FDMG Academy was not for black boys because this event should have been about them. And I think that's what we need to talk about when we talk about young black men in America today. It has to be about them. This is the reason why on my channel, you guys see me doing the shows that I do, the Hall of Game shows, you know, I bring in a lot of black successful and black male entrepreneurs. Um, you know, I, I, I work with a lot of African-American male content creators because at the end of the day, when I joined the Black Manosphere 2.0 in 2015, and as, as, as you know, funny I, I, may, I, as I may be, and as, um, as, 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 as controversial as I can be, at the end of the day, it is about the black men. That's why I'm one of the only guys that do celebrity junk from this Black Manosphere perspective. Nobody does it like me for the black male community because it's about you guys. We are the ones that need help. We are the ones that need to become the leaders. We are the ones that need to develop ourselves. And it's bigger than me. It's about the people. But Omar Johnson has forgotten about that. Brother Polite has forgotten about that. Young Pharaoh has forgotten about that. What they have done is said, I'm gonna use my talents to get to the people, to get to the draws. And to be fair, you know, black women, um, they, don't really sometimes some of the sisters most can some can figure out some can't they can't tell who are really who don't really have power who do okay and a lot of times sisters are attracted to guys that 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 pretend to be powerful figures but they're really dusty they're attracted to the dustness because a lot of sisters have not really seen 
what a real black man is all about or a real masculine man is all about you know a man that works with other men to get things accomplished that's red flag number one when you are a man and you cannot work with any other man to get nothing accomplished and all your speeches and all your um phonetics and your words and all of your phrases are catered towards impressing women with using black talking points that should let you know that you're a beta male okay a real alpha male is one who works with the men and that men respect and if the men don't respect you ain't got nothing but many women don't know whoever got the loudest mic i guess is who's up for grabs and these guys who typically wouldn't have the success they have with women if they didn't have what they have use that to their advantage and then the community gets lost at the same time but now these guys still want to get money from the community to go ahead and be corrupt and do what they want to do like umar johnson but secondarily we have a narcissistic issue in some of our conscious communities okay and it's unfortunate that many of the real people of the conscious communities of the, of, of the old times the academics you know the dr amos wilson's the dr john henry clark's the people like that brother malcolm x those who were really about the people have faded on and now we're in the social media stage of clout doing anything for clout and omar johnson uh, brother if you listen to you you are punk okay you have no respect for anybody not our community you don't have no respect for your goddamn self and i have one last question to ask you where's the where's the, where's the fucking school huh i heard that you told somebody in the background on that instagram it's coming out to next august so why every time umar we are looking at pushing off this damn school to the next year but you got money to get married at the school campus you got money to get tuxedos you got money to uh, marry two sisters out there both of them who look like they're over 40 which you know they probably given up on getting somebody decent anyway so you the best they gonna get where's the school umar and then you have the brothers and sisters who i won't talk about because they're they're you know some of our people are lost right and i'm not going to insult the women that married him are uh and you can't get married legally in, in the united states to, to more than one woman but uh the people who support umar because those are our people they want to see change in the black community and they've already stuck it out this long they might as well go along all the way but where's the school umar you've been so corrupt with the funds that the people have given you you've been a liar you've been deceitful but overall you've been narcissistic your personality makes you feel that you're better than the people that you're trying to help and let me tell you something brother you are never better than our people our people have made a way for you our people have made a way for me how dare you believe that you're above us and you're not and you will continue to suffer in dustiness until you remember who you are who you came from and who helped you get to where you at and that goes for any other brother out there don't forget where you came from don't forget who supported you we don't have nothing don't forget what lineage you represent and as long as you keep that into perspective you'll be all right and not leaning into your own understanding and falling to your demise like dr umar johnson in a dusty ass wedding but guys what do you think it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk i really appreciate you for all that you do subscribe hit the bell Check out the first clip at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains an all-time high. I'm out.